Hi students, today we are discussing a very intricate and very interesting problem of finding the closed form of a sequence. Now see, the sequence is given here 5, 4, 5, 8 and 13. Now we have to find the, what is the closed form of this sequence. What is the closed form? Now if a0 equal to 5, a1 equal to 4, a2 equal to 5, a3 equal to 8, a4 equal to 13, etc. Then you have to find a n in terms of n. That is called the closed form. Now let us try to solve the problem. Now it has been given in the question just as a hint that this sequence may be a polynomial. Now you see <coughs> if y equal to ax plus b that is the first degree polynomial then the difference first order difference delta y forward difference is a into x plus h plus b minus a x minus b that is a h which is equal to constant. So we observe that when y is a first degree polynomial delta y is constant. Similarly if we take y equal to ax square plus bx plus c that is a second degree polynomial then we observe delta square y equal to twice a h plus b that is constant. Similarly, if we can uh, take y equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d then delta q y will be constant. Now, now <clears throat> the given sequence is 5, 4, 5, 8 and 30. So, ai is given like this. You see 5, 4, 5, 8, 30. Since it has given as a hint that it may be a polynomial so we have seen in our earlier discussion that the delta or delta square or delta cube must be constant for different kinds of polynomials. So first of all we try to find the successive difference for the AIs. Now you see A05, A14, A35, A48 and A5 is 30. First order difference 4 minus 5 that is minus 1, 5 minus 4 that is 1. 8 minus 5 that is 3 and 13 minus 8 equal to 5. Second order difference 1 minus minus 1 that is 2, 3 minus 1 that is 2 and 5 minus 3 that is 2. So we observe that the second order difference has become constant. So what does it mean? Now we have already shown that if the second order <coughs> difference is constant then it will be a second degree polynomial. So from this we can <coughs> say that the closed form of the sequence will be a second degree polynomial of the form a n square plus b n plus c. <clears throat> Actually it has come from the constant of the second order difference. So the closed form will be of the form a n square plus b n plus c. Now if it is known to us that the closed form will be like this then now it is very clear and also very easy to find a b c here a b c are three constants now it is given that a0 equal to 5 a1 equal to 4 a2 equal to 5 now a0 that means a into 0 square plus b into 0 plus c that must be equal to 5 so c must be equal to 5 c equal to 5 a1 a into 1 square plus b into 1 plus c that is 4. So a plus b will be 4 minus c or a plus b 4 minus c, c means 5. So 4 minus 5 equal to minus 1. What is a2? a into 2 square plus b into 2 plus c that is 5. Why this is 5? Because a3 equal to 5 and that's why a into 2 square plus b into 2 plus c equal to 5. So 4a plus 2b will be equal to 5 minus c. Now c equal to 5. So it means this is 0. So we have two equations. Number 1 a plus b equal to minus 1 and twice a plus b equal to 0. Now solving this two very easily we can find a equal to 1 and b equal to minus 2. So the required polynomial is a n equal to n square minus 2n plus 5. Now we can check whether this is true or not. 
false you put n equal to 0 it becomes a 0 0 square minus 2 into 0 plus 5 so this is 5 if you put n equal to 1 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 5 1 minus <coughs> 2 plus 5 that is 4 now if we put n equal to 2 2 square minus 2 into 2 plus 5 4 minus 4 cancels so it becomes again 5 a3 3, 3 square minus 2 into 3 plus 5 that is equal to 8 a4 so the closed form becomes n square minus 2n plus 5 now <coughs> The students who are actually acquainted with the Lagrange's interpolating polynomial, they can also solve this problem by Lagrange's interpolation formula. Now here, since this is a second degree polynomial, it is sufficient to take the first three values of the sequence. So 0 corresponds to 1, 1 corresponds to 4 and 2 corresponds to 5. That means a0 equal to 5, a1 equal to 4 and a2 equal to 5. Now what is the Lagrange's interpolation? We know x minus 1 into x minus 2 by 0 minus 1 into 0 minus 2 times a0. x minus 0 into x minus 2 by 1 minus 0 into 1 minus 2 times a1. x minus 0 into x minus 1 by 2 minus 0 into 2 minus 1 times a2. Now it becomes x square minus 3x plus 2 by 2 into 5, x square minus 2x by minus 1 into 4, x square minus x by 2, this is 2 into 5. So after calculating a little bit of uh, algebra, we can find that it is x square minus 2x plus 5. So a n becomes n square minus 2n plus 5 that we have already obtained in our previous way.